that coastal fog is rolling in. I really hope that this isn't going to be around all day. I can't imagine it will, but hopefully this will clear up a little bit and some sun will come through here in a few. All right, everyone. It's starting to warm up nicely. The fog's kind of moved out, and I am out here walking around in coastal Georgia. It's been burned kind of recently here. You can see there's some black grass over there that's charred, um, which means it should be nice and open out here today. Visibility should be good, and hopefully the snakes will be out. Well, here's my first snake of the day that I just spotted out basking. Not something that I was expecting, but something I'm pretty stoked about. This is a yellow rat snake, and uh, I don't think I've ever seen one of these in Georgia. I've seen some kind of intermediate looking ones, but I've never seen one, just a big striped yellow rat snake. Now, he isn't much to look at, but he is pretty good size. You can see probably about five feet long but these guys are really cool he's obviously is not the most colorful yellow rat but those lines down the back are super distinctive that's how you tell this former subspecies apart got a little bit of an attitude with me it's a good looking snake though i mean he's not super vibrant but i think he is a pretty good looking snake this guy is like the opposite of the friendly rat snake Jeez, how's it going buddy i just wanted to get a little video of you I don't leave you alone. Really cool. Decent first snake of the day. Anyways, I'm gonna let this guy on his way and see what else we can turn up. He's got a bad eye, it's pretty cool looking. Big snake, probably pretty old. Yellow rat snake, coastal Georgia. I really do think this is the first like yellow, yellow rat snake I've seen in Georgia. I've seen some integrate. They look more like gray rats than yellow rats, but they have a little bit of influence. For some reason, these guys, they stick super close to the coast. Once you get away from the coast, you start getting gray rat snake influence, and uh, they don't look quite like this. So, pretty cool. All right, guys, just flood this little guy. This is a juvenile eastern glass lizard. Pretty cool. I love seeing glass lizards, but these guys are pretty common here on the Georgia coast, the easterns at least. Um, there could potentially be islands here, which would be awesome and a lifer for me, but pretty cool. Little eastern glass lizard. These things are so cool. This is a baby, probably hatched out in the fall, but awesome. Eastern glass lizards up by me are like a holy grail fine, but here on the coast they're pretty common. I mean, I've seen five or six in a day. Wouldn't be surprised if we see more today, but pretty cool. Little glass lizard. Random little flip. Found this little eastern narrow mouth under a log. These guys are everywhere up by me in the warmer months, but they kind of disappear this time of year, so this is the first one I've seen in a while. These guys are called toads, but they're actually a type of frog, but pretty cool. We'll probably see more of these, I'm assuming. And we'll definitely see more over the next couple weeks as it warms up. All right, guys, it's just now about 11 a.m. It feels like it's maybe 70 degrees out here. But the high today is forecasted to be 77. Um, and I think it might even get hotter than that if the sun stays out like this. So actually it might end up getting too hot today. Oh, man. goes it's officially hot outside i'm not super confident that we're going to be able to find too much today if we don't change up what we're doing but i'm hoping there will be some cloud cover rolling in and make it feel really nice out here again but uh i'm going to keep at it for a little bit longer but i might end up switching my plan to do a little bit more flipping or something there's a Another juvenile American alligator. We saw one of these in the last video. There were about 10 of them right here. Actually, you can still see them out there in the water. They all jumped in when I came around the corner. But yeah, lots of alligators, love to see them. No big ones, which is kind of concerning that I'm not seeing them because, I mean, if there's little ones, there's gotta be big ones. It's been a while since we saw anything, but there is our next snake of the day. Not really something I was expecting to see here. Although with the water, I guess it shouldn't surprise me, but there's a banded water snake. I'm chilling. 
There's not really any water in this area other than where we saw the alligators. So it's kind of weird to see this guy right here. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to see these in this area, but he's pretty far from water. Anyways, banded water snake. I'm just going to leave him there. Don't want to get torn up right now. Um, I might hike around here for a little bit longer, but I think I'm going to go try to find some stuff to flip since snakes don't really seem to be basking in numbers right now. It's a little bit warm, honestly, but I think boards and uh, maybe layered tin would be really good right now. So I'm going to go see if I can find something to flip. Oh, I see another snake, actually. Um, yeah, I do. So I looked up from this guy. I don't even know what it is yet, but we're going to walk over there. It is another banded water snake. That's weird. I actually saw him just now for the first time on camera. Pretty cool. That's a bigger one, a little bit prettier. Well, pretty cool to see these guys sitting beside each other. That's probably a big female. And I'd guess that this little guy right here is a male, kinda on her scent. Pretty cool if you ask me. Always neat to see. This is kinda what I saw when I looked up. There's that first one. And then I saw just a few scales through there that second one but pretty cool all right guys i'm almost back to the car walking a little bit of a more shaded area to see if there's anything out here since it's not as hot but uh when i get back to the car i'm gonna head towards home i'm gonna be getting out tomorrow but i'm just gonna go home not gonna not spend the money on another hotel and uh, probably stick closer to home tomorrow anyways i will see you guys uh, if i see something or if i find a decent looking spot to hit on the way home Roadside Diller. I'm on my way out. Try to find some stuff to flip. Anyways. Alright everyone, if you uh, didn't notice already, I'm not in coastal Georgia anymore. It's a lot gloomier here still, but it feels actually super nice up here today. And that's why I decided to come home and try to herp closer to home today. Because it's going to be about 75 today and... It rained last night and it's gonna just warm up nicely today. The overnight was super high, so it didn't get cold last night. And uh, I'm out here at one of my favorite spots, just really hoping to turn up some snakes. And uh, worst case, we should be able to see some salamanders in good numbers. So anyways, we're gonna get after it and I will keep you guys posted. Skinsella, we're on the board. First herp of the day. We're on the board yet again. <laughs> Gigantic, dude. That is a really tiny little baby northern slimy salamander. All right, guys, next species of the day. Pretty typical looking little southern redback. These guys are everywhere this time of year. Oh. But uh, first one of the day, we'll probably see a couple more. Next rock over has a bunch of little isopods. And another red back. Yet another one. That's a really pretty little guy. There it is. First blooming daffodils of the year. Now where are the snakes at? A snake! First North Georgia snake of 2021. Smooth Earth. Alright guys. Well, there it is. First North Georgia snake of 2021. Not a terribly surprising one. This brown snake, ring neck, or red belly would have been the, the things I would have guessed we'd see today. But uh, pretty cool. Nice and healthy adult smooth earth snake. Love seeing these guys. They're one of the most strangely proportioned snakes we have. Super wide mid body, super tiny head, super tiny tail. But anyways, I'm gonna put him back under his little concrete block and we're gonna see if we can get a king snake. So Micah just flipped this gigantic red salamander under this little concrete slab right here by where that earth snake was. That is a ridiculous creature. Gigantic, chunky red salamander. What a cool looking little animal. We saw one of these I think at two videos ago, but it wasn't nearly this nice or this big. Awesome. Well. Here's one more look at this guy before we put him back. We might also dip down into the creek here and see if we can turn up a spring salamander, but awesome. Alrighty, there we go. That is a meaty spring salamander. 
unlike the area we were looking for them before in one of my earlier videos, they are pretty common here, but always a good find. All right, the first spring salamander's right here, and right there is number two, right next to the first one. Very nice. All right, guys, here's a look at these two insane salamanders side by side. I mean, you can see they're like probably five or six inches long each. And this one has a broken tail. And you can kind of see why I get so excited about looking for these guys. It's awesome to be able to turn them up regularly. And uh, unfortunate that it seems like it's so tough to find a spot where you can actually do so least around here. Beautiful. Two adult Carolina spring salamanders. All right, we're releasing this first spring. I'm gonna photograph this bigger, prettier one. All right, one more shot of this guy crawling on my hand before we let him go, just so you can see just how big this guy is. And they get even bigger. Anyways, back under his log. Spring salamander here in North Georgia today. Awesome. That's actually a pretty big slimy. First adult slimy we've seen today. Well, Micah flipped a worm snake, but in the process of uh, holding onto it for me to see since I was uphill, it's lost in his beanie inside. It somehow worked its way into the mesh or the cloth and is in there. So we have to figure out where it is and convince it to come out. Is this the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen, or is it the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen? I'm literally trying to thread a worm snake out of the inside of a beanie. Well, North Georgia snake number two for the year goes to this little worm snake that is now no longer stuck inside the beanie. Anyways, this guy's in need of a shed, so we're just going to leave him alone. Let's see what else we can turn up. But snakes are out. So we're on our way back to hit a different area, and uh, we decided to double flip some of the better tin here. And there's a brown snake that wasn't here earlier. Makes three species of snake today. Not bad at all. First, I'm sure of many decays brown snakes we're gonna see this year. I lied, that actually wasn't the uh, first one of those we've seen this year. But it was the first we've seen in North Georgia. We saw one down in central Georgia on the first outing of the year. Here's another big, chunky, slimy salamander. By the way, Mike is wearing a pretty cool shirt. If you want that shirt, I'll put a link to the uh, website where you can buy it in the description of this video. All proceeds from buying that shirt go to conservation, so check it out. This is the first one of these I've seen today. Pretty little southern two-line salamander. Really vibrant little guy. Alright guys, Micah just flipped a rat snake under a random log. Not something I would have expected, but I mean, pretty cool. Well, this is definitely the coolest thing we've seen today snake-wise. First North Georgia rat snake of the year. Pretty good looking one. He's nice and light. A lot of the ones in this area can be pretty dark. Kind of black rat snake looking, but nice looking little gray rat snake. Or decent size, probably three feet long, but we're not gonna mess with him, so. Pretty cool. We're actually about to switch spots and go flip some tin in another area. Um, but decent way to wrap up the first spot of the day. All right, last herp at this spot. Nice little red back. We're about to make a little drive and flip some more tin. That's looking money though. Oh! Oh, there's a boy. <laughs> a man's. All right, guys, we didn't see any snakes at the couple pieces of tin here, but I've never really looked for salamanders here, so we decided to come over here and flip some logs, rolled this one, and big male spotted salamander. Not only that, there's also over here a four toed salamander. Awesome double flip. Anyways, apparently this is a pretty productive spot to look for salamanders, so we're going to let these guys go and keep looking and see what else we can turn up. Oh yeah. 
tons of upland chorus frogs calling down here. Hopefully there will be some logs to roll. Maybe some salamanders too. Not really something I was expecting to see in this habitat, but a little spotted dusky salamander. Really pretty little guy. Whoa! Dusky salamander double flip. Two of them. Very nice. Second spotted of the day. I saw some spermatophores over there in the water and we flipped two spotted, so evidently a good population of them here. Pretty cool. I'm excited to actually see salamanders here. I've never really tried too hard to find them at this spot, so a lot of these could end up being county records too. So I know it's kind of hard to tell, but this is in fact the same species of red salamander as that big beautiful one we saw earlier today. Some of them are just much darker than others. This one's beautiful. I thought it was a Montanus for a second, which is the other member of the Pseudotriton group. But really good, cool looking red salamander. He's unique. Really cool.